We will see how to use SAML to have SSO dashboard access using Microsoft Azure as the identity provider. First of all, we need to have a dashboard instance running, uh, which should work for internal identity broker and SAML. Uh, now, as I'm running my application in my local, I will need to expose that to internet. And in order to do so, I'm going to use an rod and we'll expose my port. It will give me two links and we will be using the HTTPS one. Go to the dashboard and start the process of the profile creation. Identity management, create profile. In this case, I'm going to use the raw editor as I already have in the documentation, the minimum tape, the minimum template to have this action working. And we will start to fill uh, each of the field. In this case, we don't, as uh, we are using the internal identity broker, it's not required to fill the organization ID neither the dashboard credential because those values values are being set uh, directly in the in the backend. A cert location for summit you need to provide a certificate and the private key because that will be used to sign all the requests that we send to the IDP. Uh, as we are using the internal identity broker it should be an ID or one certificate that was uploaded via a certificate manager of dashboard. So let's do that. I already have one certificate. So let's upload that to search. Okay, upload. It's correct. Now I copy, I have to copy this ID and come here and paste it. Uh, okay, good. Uh, I must say that the certificate that we upload, it should be one single file that contains the certificate as well as the private key concatenated. I'll show you what I have here. I have the certificate and also uh, we have the private key. So this is what we need. Now, uh, about the SAML base URL, it will be the URL that NDROC gave us. This one. The same thing. And the same thing. Now it, we only have to fill this value, the ATP metadata URL, but this value, um, we have to get that from Microsoft Azure. So now what we have to do is go to Azure and configure uh, our application to work with SAML SSO in Azure. And we have to configure our application. Go to my, okay. Azure Active Directory, uh, Enterprise Application, and we have to create a new application. In this case, not Gallery Application. Uh, this will give us the feature of SAML based single sign on. Uh, let's call it, we can put whatever you want there, but in this case, let's use the same ID of the profile and add it. Okay, now we have to set up the single sign-on. 
with summer. Okay, uh, now uh, here we have to fill only two fields. In identifier, we will put the URL for the metadata, the metadata URL will be out. The name of our profile, summer metadata. Now we have to do the same, but in this case will be the the callback the callback URL. And we will hit save. Now, as I said before, we need to gather uh, one link from here, and it's the metadata URL that the IDP provide us. So we will copy this value, go again to dashboard, and that value will be set right here. We create the profile and now we are ready to test it. We will have to go to the HTTPS link of the ID of our profile. We will be redirected to uh, Microsoft Azure. I will put my credential. 